Hey there, it's uh, Mickey Munns back with another video. Um, today we're going to be talking about my first two years in sailing, period. Um, before we do anything at all, I need you guys to hit that subscribe button, uh, like the video, and comment uh, your favorite sailing stereotype or just any thoughts you have right now. I will be probably posting a couple times a week, maybe more, uh, and I want to keep the videos down to like three or four minutes. Without any further ado, let's get into it. This is the story of how I went from sailing in circles to winning a regional championship. All right. The beginning. Um, I am originally from Redondo Beach, California. Uh, I did not start sailing competitively until age 14. My parents always put me in like sailing camps, I hated it. Fast forward to freshman year of high school and I find out my school is a sailing team and I decide joining. Uh, first two weeks were brutal, but kept with it. Eventually was going to my first regatta and we didn't do so hot. I decided to team up with my best friend, Alex, who also had zero sailing experience. Eventually we worked our way up and we were getting top tens at least, local regattas. At that point I was really falling in love with the sport. What, what I really liked, unlike running or swimming or that, there's no genetic limit on like how well you can do. At a certain point, you know, some people can't run a faster mile, but in sailing, because it's more of a mental sport and there's so many other facets, there's always something you can do. That summer, I did my first Junior Olympic Championship, and, uh, and then that summer, I also did my first Club 420 Regatta, which is the Chatham Regatta. Um, and, you know, I, it was my, my first time being, being resourceful, and this is a thread that's going to come up, like, throughout, throughout my sailing career. But, uh, you know, we threw together an old 20, made it to the start line, and, you know, first, first race, we flipped. Uh, also, that summer, the Rio Olympics, uh, happened. Watching Stu and Dave and Annie and Brianna in boats that looked like my boats really inspired me. I knew I wanted to go to the Olympics. And this is one of the moments in my sailing career where, where my path kind of takes shape. And I needed to outwork and I needed to outlast. And that's been like my motto ever since. Um, because a lot of the top kids, uh, you know, get burnt out. And so they quit. Also, maybe may not care about it as much, so they're not putting it in as many hours training. I realized if I just put in more hours um, and I just kept getting to the start line, I could beat the kids who are better than me. And I did. So that's your one. Your two, like sailing is my life. I need to get better at it. And this is the first time I really have to deal with teammates are, are on different levels of commitment. I really wanted to be the best that I could be, but a lot of people were just doing it because it was fun. And that's totally fine. That year I kind of learned to be a better teammate uh, and to encourage people and inspire them because you can't force someone to care or be passionate. Also that year I met Michael and Louis. Michael is the kid I ended up going to my first world championship with. Starting to make connections there. That year our first regatta win, small local regatta. I think we won, won like 10 races in a row. And then first regional regatta win. So that was the Junior Olympics in the Club FJ. I'll tell the story about that because it's, it's a really fun story. We met a coach who would be really influential on my early 420 career, Maru Urban, who coached uh, at the Olympics. And I also found out that San Diego Yacht Club had three I-420s, which is the boat I needed to sail. Starting my junior year of high school, going into year three, I knew exactly what I needed to do. I needed to get my butt down to San Diego, put in the hours. So that is how I went from zero experience to winning a regional regatta. Um, and I hope you will join me next time for everything that comes after that. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I can't wait to share the next steps in my adventure with you.